If you have a WordPress website and you want to showcase your company's services or maybe your product features in a stylish way, then in this video, I will show you how you can use the animated service boxes from the plus add-ons for Gutenberg and create some stylish service pages for your website. Now this animated service boxes is part of the plus blocks pro version. And with that, you can create some amazing looking services sections like this one or maybe this one or you can showcase your services in a fancy box like this and there are various other ways by which you can use these animated service boxes to create services section on your website so if that sounds interesting and you also want to create this kind of amazing layouts by just using a gutenberg plugin then hop in and i'll show you everything step by step i am ankit sharma from the team pose myth and if you want to learn more about such amazing gutenberg blogs then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next amazing video So here we are in our WordPress website and here in the plugin section, we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version already installed. Because as mentioned before, this animated service boxes is part of the pro version of plus add-ons for blog editor. So in this video, we are creating a services pages for a company website and we will be creating these service boxes, which looks like this or maybe like this one so let me show you how you can use this plugin to create something like this so here we are in our page editor and on the very top we have this banner and after that we have a little bit of text and here we have our animated service boxes now before we start creating these boxes let me show you an amazing feature that can help you build these boxes in no time if you visit the plusblocks.com on the animated service boxes and if you want to copy any of these designs to your website then all you have to do is just look for this copy button here and once you hit copy the complete design gets copied from our website and then you can come back in your page editor and place the cursor wherever you want to add this design and then on the very top look for this button it says plus paste and as soon as you click on this it will import the exact same design with all the images and text style so now all you have to do is just change the images and do some styling as per your website theme so you will be able to build these amazing services boxes for your website in no time by using our ready-made templates here and now let me show you how you can design one from scratch so for that here we add a new row and we will search for tp row so that we can add a new row with the single column layout and let's make it full width and now we will click on this plus block button here and we will search for animated and the first block here it says tp animated service boxes and that's the one we need to add here so we'll click on this and here we have the first style of this animated service boxes so if you look on the right hand side here we have the option for main style and here right now we are on image accordion which is one of the style of this animated service boxes and we have created a separate video to show you how you can use these boxes to create some amazing looking image accordion galleries we will link that in the i button above or the video description below now in order to create this kind of boxes we will be selecting this main style that is article box so if we click here we see a new template loaded so once we have selected the main style we need to go down and here we have two options in this main style as well so right now we are on the style one you can go ahead and select style two and this is how it looks but for this example we will go with style one only after that we have an option to choose the image size so we will keep it on full width and below that we have display button option so let's turn that on so we will now have this read more button here just like this one and after that we also have image or icon option so depending upon the style you choose this option will allow you to add icons or images after that we have service boxes 
so these are the boxes that we have just added here so right now we have these three boxes here so in order to add a new one you can choose the button add item or you can just click on this icon here which will duplicate this box and this is how you can add more or remove these boxes after that we have column manage so right now it is set to four we will turn that to column three because we only have three boxes here and below that we have column gap option so we can define how much gap we want between these boxes so let's keep it to five so now let's come back to service boxes and start adding content and images here so we will select the first one so if you want to change the title instead of marketing you can add any text here so maybe we can type in marketing services and we also have the subtitle option so if we enter text under subtitle this will show once we mouse over here so this is the text here and below that we have option for description so this is the place where we enter the main text so let's enter a simple text here so once we bring the mouse on this first box we will see the title the subtitle as well as the main text and after that we have the button below that we have option to add feature image so let's go ahead and add one so maybe we can select this image here in the same way let's go ahead and add images and text for the next two boxes so i'll just go ahead and delete these two and then duplicate the first one again and all i have to do is just edit the text and replace the images So now we have the images as well as the content added for all three boxes and now we can move on to the next step that is style. To do all the styling related to these boxes. So the first option here is title. So we will select the typography from here. So if we click on this wrench icon, we have various options available for this main title. So let's go ahead and increase the font size a bit and we also increase the weight and from here you can choose any color from this color picker so we will go with white and next option is for the subtitle which we have entered here so if we select that we can change the typography so let's reduce the font a bit and let's make it italic and color we will again choose white and same goes for the description below this. Let's go ahead and change the font style a bit. And once again, we will choose the white color. After that, we have the button option. So here for the button, we will choose the color white. And then we will add a little bit space above and below this button. So here we have button above space and button below space. So we will assign 15 pixel value here so now it looks clean after that we have option for content background so here we can change this background color so depending upon your website theme you can go ahead and change this color from here so maybe we can add a little bit blue so this is how you can change the color for all the three boxes here below that we have option to add box border or maybe border radius so we can go ahead and add a 10 pixel border radius so here we can add a border or the border radius for the main outer box and we can also add the box shadow as well so we will leave it as it is and after that we have the third tab that is advanced and this deals with all the spacings and various other advanced options so we will create a dedicated video covering all the things we have here in the advanced tab and for both free as well as the pro version of this plugin so you can find that video in the i button above or in the video description below so right now let's go ahead and click on update to save this page and let's open that in a new tab so here is our service page so this is the service box that we are referring to this is the animated service box that we have just created so this is how it will look and below that we have our second option so if we come back in our page editor and if we click here for this one we have selected our next main style that is info banner 
So in order to create a service box like this, you need to select this option. So this is just to show you that you can choose any of these main style and create your own design by this. So this is how easy it is to create some amazing looking service pages using the animated service boxes from the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to watch more videos related to these amazing Gutenberg blocks, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you soon in the next video.